One, two, three. Oh, that was a first, first time. First, first go. Tea. Sorry, Wilbur. Well Sorry, Wilbs. Wilby. Okay. On your bed. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Loco Skates channel. Today, we're talking about the Mesma Bellino Throne skate. And we didn't get an opportunity to skate on the skates. Sorry about that. We're just going to take them apart and we're going to do a deep dive. Um, we did ask for a set, but they didn't send any for us to skate. So we've only got sizes that really don't fit us. Uh, this being a size, what is that? Five, six UK? That oh, I should just look, shouldn't I? No, six, six point five. So you actually, you you could have skated it. I have tried it on, but turns out we'll get to that. We'll, that they're a little we'll small. Bit, yeah, mm. I I could in theory skate it as well, but not quite. No. Well, but there is, there's solutions to this. Um, so a bit of background on the brand. It's a 50% collaboration between Billy O'Neill and Matthias Knoll from Powerslide. Uh, Billy doing the kind of marketing side of it and the team side of it and Matthias doing the kind of product and development and manufacturing side of it. Obviously he's got loads of experience in that so it's a really good collab. Uh, Matthias is a really good guy as well. Um, he's not very well known, I suppose, in the aggressive industry because Powerside seems like a really big company and they do lots of recreational stuff and he's, he's, he's kind of a speed skater originally, but he's really good and really knows what he's doing. He's a nice guy as well and, he's, and I, th I think uh, Matthias hasn't got enough credit for sorting skaters out over the years as well. Like Powerside have been really good to their team, I think, generally. So the skate is, I personally, what, what do you think of the look? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I can't, you know, classic colorway. I love it. <coughs> I love the look of that. I think that looks yeah. better. I think it looks like infinitely better than original thrones. I pro pre people will probably curse me for saying that because original thrones are such a cult classic, aren't they? But I never skated them. And I think that with the new soul kit and the way it's, the, the way, I don't know, the lines look cleaner. Yeah, I agree. I think it's really nice. Um, it's quite for an old skate. It's, it's a very contemporary look with like the lines on the skate, isn't it? So it's very kind of similar to them in the way the side of the skate has those like, bits. <clears throat> someone said that uh, when they first showed the pictures of them, someone on Instagram said they they just copied the Loco Aeon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's I mean like it's still a, just a classic colorway, isn't it? Basically, everyone who's made a black and white skate <laughs> just copied the Loco Aeon. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, the roots of the throne shell, you guys were just, or Harry, you were just looking this up. In my 30 second research on uh, Google, so this is like... And your superior knowledge of rollerblades. My superior knowledge of rollerblades, which is why I was headhunted uh, by Jay to work here. <laughs> um, it's the third third mold not third mold but it's like the third throne basically isn't it and it's third sort of like iteration uh, iteration or respawning um As some people think it's it'd be like the second which is why we were looking it up that's but right yeah duncan who also hi duncan. Hey, duncan duncan works for loco but he works remotely about 400 miles north of here and he pointed out yesterday that there was yeah there was like an original throne mold that was different um, you know, that very first one, the Julio Latimer champion style one. Mm. I mean, I, I, out of all of us, I probably skated the old throne the most, including that first Latimer one that Did wasn't you? UFS. And then, okay. but I don't remember ever taking the frames off, but we were looking at pictures and it doesn't look like it was UFS to begin with. No, it wasn't. Um, what, uh, because we, 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 can't, we haven't skated this particular version of it. Can you say anything about like, how the phones felt originally as a, as a boot? Yeah, I mean, it's a really simple shell. Fairly narrow fitting, although it has a wide, it has a wide cut, you know, cut out for the laces, you know, there, but still it's fairly narrow fitting, not maybe the most narrow fitting skate, which makes it a little bit tricky to downsize with it. Yeah. But yeah, I remember having, you know, really good time on it. I really like the old, tumor plates that a USD used to do but you know times have moved on 
and now this is, they've just simplified it, sleeked it out. It looks a lot better now, in my opinion, as well. Even though I was a fan of the old one, I still think this one looks really cool now. Let's clear this up about the sole kits straight away. They're not SSM sole kits. And it's been mentioned that in a few places that they are and they're not. I think, I think the confusion was when Billy was doing the uh, podcast and he mentioned about SSM sole kits. But I think the story was that, you know, they wanted to get the SSM soles, but they didn't. You can see that they're modeled on the SSM soles. Let's hold that one up because the underside is, is a really similar shape, taking cues <coughs> from the SSM soles. But that would trick you into thinking that they are and they're not. They're a new sole developed for the skate. Um, have we still got that SSM sole line around the office? So if you go uh, all the way to the back and then right, on the top shelf there's compass wheels and the shelf underneath on the left there's a bunch of NIM SSM sole plates in size 11 to 15. 12. <laughs> Was that size 15? <laughs> yeah. Size, yeah. <laughs> That's why we still got the stuck. Yeah, yeah. Right, that's, okay, here we go. Here's an SSM sole kit. Hop. Okay, yeah, so, um, and obviously, uh, they're obviously different sizes and uh, completely quite different in shape. Um, so if it was ever an SSM sole kit, it has been like modified. It's been massively modified and I don't think it is. I think, I think it's, New one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it does look quite different. Um, it looks like they, uh, if you hold the shell up as well, it looks like they modded, modified the shell a little bit. So like the old throne had a kind of well at the back where the, throne, where the juice plate would sit, but now it's kind of flattened out. So the, uh, the plate, the new plate sits much more flush and easily than, than other plates used to on the thrones, which is cool. Yeah, it just means it's gonna feel a lot more solid. Soul kits have artwork on them by Chase Rushing, who is also a really good skater. Mm. And the same artwork appears on the, on the wheels as well. It's a cool touch putting the artwork on the underside. Not something we've seen before. I like, I like the innovative thinking. It's nice. And yeah, it doesn't, also, great, because everyone wants a plain and simple looking skate, almost everyone. But the, people, the sort of people that buy this skate do at least, and then just like hiding any like details like that underneath, it seems it's really cool. And it, obviously it's like a, a skateboard. Reminds me of a skateboard. I wonder if these will become collectible in some way. Yeah, like a, skate, like a skateboard like a artwork skateboard, piece. Yeah. And it's kind of like would look kind of weird just to have one more. <laughs> but um, yeah, if Roller Baden was more popular, if you th basically don't spend your money on NFTs, mm. get some <laughs> mesmers, whip the soul kits off, put them on your wall, wait 20, 20 years, and if Rollerblading really goes sick, then you'll be rich. Nice. He did um, Chase did a, a zine with Muzzle as well. Um, so I don't know if they're still available. If you like his artwork, there's other blade art collaborations out there with him as well. Also. There's like this dampening pad, which um, you kind of see in a few sole plates, like Razor SLs in particular, they have like a fabric bit to dampen the sound. This is a little more comprehensive than that. It's sort of like a rubbery thing, <laughs> which may give you a bit more shock absorption and is uh, similar to what the muzzle and solar developed for the them skates. Um, feels like a very different material to what muzzle and solar used. And I know they used a very specific material, but that's also a nice touch that just comes with the skate. For shock absorption and for sound. Shock um, absorption dampening. and sound. And I also wonder, we talked about it also in the um, FR Potier skates, which are also built into the underside of the boot. And I wonder if it also helps with like energy transfer in some way. I don't have any science behind that at all. But well, you need to come with some evidence-based. Speculation is fine. Yeah, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a speculator. <laughs> It's good enough these days. <laughs> <laughs> Stick it on Facebook. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what about those frames? Frames are called 
I don't know if they're called the Mesmer frame, but it's a Kaiser Fluid 5 frame. Um, Which is a good aftermarket frame. It's a good aftermarket frame. What's the like 50, 60 quid, something like that? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, they're fairly cheap, actually, that, aren't, aren't they? they? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, good solid frame. A um, little bit of wheel cupping. Uh, modest size H block, but um, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. In fact, I prefer a uh, slightly smaller H block. Um, it kind of does exactly what it says on the tin, really. Like solid, fast, durable. And did you know the wheels have got harder wheels on the inside than they have on the outside? So I learned that just before we uh, went live. Not, so yeah, not seen that before on a stock. No, that's setup. interesting. Yeah, 90A on the outside, 95A on the inside. So the idea being having a harder wheel on the inside, you can like might be easier to slide on grinds or you would stick less is the idea i guess yeah yeah <laughs> gaston's like is it how's it feel <laughs> <laughs> if you why don't you put them on and just grind that desk just <laughs> yeah. see how it goes i would but the skate doesn't fit oh, sure. <laughs> let's I talk mean, yeah the middle wheel does actually feel a bit slidier than the uh, outside wheels <laughs> i mean in the in the video I'm pretty sure everyone in the video, the team skate video that they release, I think it's like everyone's skating the stock frames, isn't it? Which is kind of cool. Are they? So, cool. Are they? Yeah, you know, a lot of the time you'll see an edit and someone do it for a skate and they might have changed something on it, but it looks like they're all skating it kind of just straight, just stock. Cool. Does believe which I think is a cool, yeah. Which are, I thought he was sponsored by Crate Originals for some reason. He certainly used to be. Yeah. Well, he, I mean, yeah. But, so yeah, you but maybe, maybe they but just, it's maybe, been some time. Yeah, maybe, maybe they just wanted everyone to skate at stock for the video, just to, yeah, yeah. you know. Well, hey, you could put your own frames on if you want, I guess, so it's fine. They've only just bought them out here in the UK, or everywhere. They brought out a limited amount in December, and then the rest of them are coming sometime, I think, end of January. Does that sound right, end of January? It's, uh, I think it's February. February. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, February yeah. so, so, so a handful of people have got these and then everyone else is waiting for them on pre-order. But the feedback from the people who got the skates was that they fit a bit small. And that seems to be down to the liner on the skate. The liner's really snug. So the word is, is that you have to heat mold the liner for it to be, for it to, to fit better more accurately. And when you do heat mold those MyFit liners, which is what they come with, they do become very malleable. So I can imagine you gaining some size out of heat molding them. I don't have any first-hand experience as to whether that works in this skate, but I tell you what, if you're watching the video and you have heat molded, you were one of the people that got these skates and have heat molded it, um, put a comment in and I'll pin the comment and let us know whether you think it, it bought you that, the extra size. To heat mold it, it's uh, in the oven, probably 90 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Don't do it more than that. Um, so okay. let us know if you're, if you're in the comments. Um, but when we did try the skate on, when they arrived, we, we used the, the, the correct size, which someone had already purchased. Before we sent them out, we tried them on. Sorry to that person. <laughs> <laughs> we, we washed beforehand. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, they did feel super tight, too tight for the size, almost like probably two sizes too tight. Uh, but when we put Intuition Liner in on them, it worked fine. Yeah, same experience for me. So I would use the EU40, which we've got here. Um, I didn't heat mold the original liner, but there was no way, there's no way I could skate them with the original liner, not heat molded with an Intuition in length was fine. But I've got quite wide feet, so it doesn't, doesn't quite work for my foot to skate, unfortunately. And you won't be able to down. I think there was some suggestion of downsizing, but anyone who's going to ask in the comments or on email about downsizing in this skate, I'll just give that a straight like no. Yeah. I'll just like put your regular size of a of a liner that you know fits you in your regular size shell, and that's it. I don't I, I don't think you'll get away with lower. Most people buying this skate, I think, at the moment would probably have their own liner at home, like and customize it anyway. I think a lot of people would be putting an intuition in. Or um, apparently, a, my fit uh, second skin works well too. If well, you got one. Um, well, also, we only had out of the first batch, only one person 
this at the back because of that's it. So the bottom of the shell has obviously been modified. Um, it's got like a nice embossed branding at the bottom that says Mesma and their kind of sort of cross skate brand logo. Um, inside, you get a um, you know one of these like little plastic insoles um, which protects you from the bolts but also glued to that is a shock absorber um, so yeah you get one of those <laughs> so actually yeah, if you don't like shock absorption you probably need to like rip that off because it is glued and the bolts just go all the way through to the bolt procedures bolts just go all the way through it's just like standard i'm just gonna so this is the the shock um absorbing part of the inside of the sole kit so if you can look if you can see like this and I'm going to pull that out just to see what's going on here I think that would have also um, gone to try to explain trying to prove if they're uh, SSM sole kits or not because if you look at the inside of the SSM and then this inside of that now like yeah, it's just it's different. so different just if that's a modified sole kit then I'll eat my hat. They're all um, crosses as well which is their their logo. Do you think that's intentional? That would be cool. It'd be cool if it is intentional. Um, and then I was thinking about this. Oh right, that's a size small. Them skate. So actually, I should have kept the, the shock absorber thing in for the small, but then the medium. Ooh, Ooh it's, too, it's too big. I thought I thought that we might discover a fitting sole kit, but no. Um, yeah, but yeah, you could put them under them them skate in the small. It's a little bit of gappage at the end, but it actually doesn't look too bad. It looks good, I think. When you have the the bit of foam stuff in it actually yeah. lines up pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And actually almost all of the <clears> socket <throat> bolts line up. There's one which is like a bit of a stretch, but you could actually... Oh, it almost lines up, doesn't it? Yeah, I did notice three, that. Three three of the bolts are like an exact hit and one of them is slightly off. Right. So, um, so do you know what? I might even... Um, I might keep that set of Mesmer skates in the 6.5 <laughs> for the socket. kits. quite nice. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy any like boot only... <laughs> No Soulless. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's a Mesmer deep dive. Are we, are we? Do we think we've said everything? Yeah. That was, was that a deep enough dive? It was pretty deep. Uh, maybe, maybe at some point we can skate some. Guys, just send us a set, and the next time we'll be able to skate them, and we can do a really good review then. Um, but in the meantime, I might just skate my soul kits on a them skate. That'd be good. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. We're we're loco skates. We're I, we we don't talk about being loco skates much on this uh, channel uh, lately, um, and I guess it is a promotional tool. Uh, but loco skates, we're, we're a website that sells skates, and we're the leading stockist of skates in the UK. But we have a really good checkout on our website that allows you to easily make international orders. We can charge for, for import duty and tax at checkout level, and we have a really good network for international delivery. So if you're an international customer watching this, do, do go and check out our website. The other thing is, I know, a um, bit of a cliche, but do subscribe, because I looked at the stats yesterday, and 82% of people that watch that last video aren't subscribed. So do subscribe, and then it will let you know when we make a new video. I reckon that's got to be the case with most YouTube channels. I think that's true, yeah. yeah I think that's they're the all case. saying this about the same similar thing. Yeah. Because I watch a lot of YouTube and I'm not subscribed to hardly anything. <laughs> you should subscribe, man. I'm part of the problem. I'll yeah. subscribe to Loco, yeah, I will. Thanks. Yeah. Are you subscribed, Gus? How do you know when there's going to be a new video if you're not subscribed? So I, turn, I don't I know. <laughs> I miss so much, but I, I don't even have a YouTube account. The notifications off on my phone anyway, so like I just never never know what's going on well i'll let you guys know yeah i'll lean over and tap you on the shoulder and let you know when this video comes out so you can watch it thanks that's that's the kind of notification i need but for you lot i can't do the same thing so subscribe yeah anyway uh have we talked about subscribing enough <laughs> let's <laughs> subscribe thanks for watching
and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.